Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to prep, polish, and coat this brand new 2022 Toyota Camry. I'm going to be using the Signature Series Pro Special Reserve product. It's not in horrible shape. Got the matte wheels. I am going to coat the wheels. Got that pearl paint. Tony's addressing the interior right now. So, it's just a little bit dirty. As you can see, I'm uh, getting my deionized water pressure washer set up, all set up so that I can get this prep situation rolling and get right on with the detail. So I'll be uh, washing with a traditional wash just because I just feel like it today. Um, I'm gonna use the uh, Pro Special Reserve Signature Series um, maintenance shampoo to give it a good wash. And then I use Forever Rinseless as Clay Bar Lubricant for the clay. Uh, and then after that, I'm gonna polish it with the Adapt Smart Polish and then I will be coating with the Elite Master Coat. So, not gonna waste any time. Gonna get right to work. All right, so this Toyota Camry is all prepped. We've got it super spick and span clean and uh, she really looks nice. Wheels are all clean. I'm about to coat it. Um, I am gonna use our six year coating Elite Master Coat. Um, it does work fantastic on matte and satin wheels just like gloss. I know it's crazy, right? You'll see, works great. Um, I removed the door edge guards that were already peeling from the dealer. They charge you like $600 for this bullshit. Uh, they also had some uh, scratch guards inside the handles here. Uh, the owner wanted those removed, so we removed all four of those, as well as all four of these door edge guards that were already peeling, like I mentioned. Um, there was a dealer sticker here. I removed that. I got off all the adhesive. Uh, I used uh, antimicrobial everything cleaner to remove the adhesive. It actually works really well at adhe adhesive removal. So we got the calipers all cleaned up. Or calipers, the exhaust tips all cleaned up. We did get the calipers all cleaned up as well. They look really nice. Paint's all good and clayed. Uh, I'm not going to polish this car. Uh, you wouldn't notice a difference even if I did. It's new. It's got good gloss. I tried to inspect it in some of my lights and it's really not all swirled up. The only thing that might use a little dressing is the black roof. I'm actually going to inspect it and see if it needs to be polished. Um, this is a coating job. Uh, I quoted them just to do all the prep and then the Elite Master Coat, and when we apply our coatings, whether it's uh, Everlasting Showstopper X, our 10-year coating, or uh, the Elite Master Coat 6-year deal, or even the Booster Elite EMC spray coating, that's the 1-year coating that we offer. It looks weird to me. You probably, you may not be able to notice in the camera, but that door looks darker than that door. You see that, Tony? That front door looks darker than the back door? She said, no, but I'm not the expert. Well, I am the expert and I see that it is darker. It's weird. Let me see. I do, I think that spoiler looks super nice and so does the uh, little body kit that's on here. Looks the same on this side. That door just looks darker to me than the back door. What'd you say? Yeah, the robot was heavy handed on that door. I don't know, can you see that this is darker than that? I can see it on the other side too. It's weird. For sure. Hmm, odd to me. Anyway. That spoiler in the body kit is super nice. It's, this is the TRD 
edition which has all the fancy goodies and probably an air intake i think this car looks super nice i would have opted for the gloss black wheels though i think they would have looked better but super nice like it is anyway well uh we were just kind of it's a little overcast and had a few sprinkles got some uh, gentlemen that are working in the uh, garage over here which is why we've been working on it out here but i think i'm gonna go ahead and attempt to just go ahead and coat it and call it a day hasn't rained in a couple of minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and dry up a few of the drips that i see i've already been around it with the dewalt blower uh we're gonna get everything straight and then i'm gonna start applying some elite master coat and that's all she needs all right guys so this 2022 Toyota Camry is all done. Uh, I did put a solid coat of Elite Master Coat all over the thing. I waited about an hour while we did some other things. Put a second coat on the whole front end actually. Check it out. Um, I absolutely did use Elite Master Coat all over these wheels. They look amazing. They also are not shining like you might think they would after using a coating design for paint. Looks great on that matte black powder coat. We were able to use some brushes and stuff and get in there and get the calipers all clean and coated. This thing looks awesome. I think that spoiler in this body kit looks super sick on this car. I coated the tailpipes, that rear diffuser, headlights, taillights, the wing, glass, wheels, the body kit, calipers. Uh, I did put one coat of tough tire gel on the tires. We clean the wheels with antimicrobial everything cleaner. Wheels, calipers, barrels, all that stuff. Got Amec to clean uh, and prime because there's a primer in it that works awesome with Elite Master Coat. Glass looks awesome. We did do a very basic interior. Vacuumed it out, wiped it down. Super cool car. Nothing fancy. So, signature series products all day. Like I mentioned before, just to recap, we use the uh, Signature Series Pro Special Reserve Maintenance Shampoo to give it a wash. I did use my on-the-go deionizing water system. Um, I do sell those now at DetailJuice.com. Crazy good value with those things. As There's two different uh, options on the site. One's uh, $235 shipped to you, and I think the other one's like $285 shipped to you. That's the one that I use. It's great for a mobile setup. It's that little guy sitting right there. So, washed with the maintenance shampoo, clayed with Forever Rinseless as lube, and then uh, I actually used it at half the dilution for the protection. So for protection, you dilute it four ounces per 124 ounces to make a gallon. I actually put two ounces in 126 ounces of water for the lube. Crazy value in that stuff. Um, as far as what you see, 
after we clayed everything and we use uh i, I exclusively use my japanese clay bars we sell at detailjuice.com it's an ultra fine clay bar that removes contamination like a medium or an aggressive bar but it doesn't mar the paint all up so you can literally go right into coating um i did a couple little spot polishing segments on this thing nothing not even enough to even talk about but uh didn't really do any polishing it was already pretty good tires like i said got one coat of tough tire gel after they were cleaned with amac as you may have seen on motor trends motorhead garage i was featured there last sunday may 15th 2022 we did a segment for them and it aired last Sunday. I was showing off the Signature Series products. That's the future of DetailJuice.com is my Signature Series products, seriously. Uh, three products for consumers, four products for professionals to make a total of seven products is all you knew, need to get crazy amount of, amounts of work done. So this thing looks awesome. Uh, and then, like I said, I use the Dove sprayer. Let me show it to you. I used this sprayer to spray the coating on the car and then wipe it in. I used a little bit more product than I would have liked to. Uh, I used about two and a half ounces on this entire car. Glass, paint, trim, body kit, wheels, all of that. When you spray it on a microfiber applicator, you actually use less product you use around an ounce per car so i went ahead and used a little bit more material wanted to give this guy I've, I've done a lot of work for this this customer recently and really wanted to go above and beyond that's you know that's how i do every job above and beyond I, I try to add value wherever i can which is why i put a whole second coat on the front end just wanted to add a little value here and there wherever i can so that's it 2022 Toyota Camry TRD. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching these videos and listening to me babble. I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. And uh, if you got questions for me, my cell phone number is 813-846-4406. My Instagram is right here, and it is gary.dean.35. Uh, follow me on, on Instagram. Um, I will be doing lives on inst Instagram starting the first Monday in June. I'll have to get the date for that. I'll update you guys. But I'm doing a one-hour training once a week on Mondays uh, starting the first week of June. So that car came out awesome, as they generally do. If you need me, let me know. If you want to check out some of the best detailing products on the face of the planet, it's not only my opinion, it's the opinion of thousands of people. Uh, check out detailjuice.com. And if you've got questions, like I gave you the phone number already, I'm the owner. Nobody does this when they're the owner of the company. I give you my personal cell phone number, 813-846-4406. Let me earn your business. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.